Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is an exact model, is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330-15AST. The model name is an 81D6, that information can be found inside the BIOS or on the bottom on the sticker or on the box. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove the battery or replace the battery. If yours is not holding up any more charge or just discharging really quickly, you just might want to open it up and replace it. I'll leave the replacement link for this battery in the video description if you want to purchase through my links. And I'll leave the link for every tool that I'll be using for this video. Just remember by replacing the battery, you're not going to be modifying anything in the system or any configuration that is required. I'll give you a tip to how to keep your initial uh, battery in the best performance once you put the new one in that's very important and you should do that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its top performance all right with all this said let's get it started first thing first power off the laptop make sure you don't put on suspension or anything like that you want to flip it upside down on the bottom here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. You're going to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Right down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws down here are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them and leave them in one pile, You're starting from one corner. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, first you want to remove the DVD drive or the carry for the DVD drive. Then what you want to do, you want to open up the laptop just a little bit. You want to stick the opening tool, in this case a guitar pick, between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that, about two or three millimeters inward, and then you just want to twist it, and you want to hear those big click sounds. But that's what you want to do every once or one or two millimeters. Work yourself around, all around in the front corners, left and right. You want to go towards the DVD drive, where they remove the DVD drive, same thing in here. Remove this one here, work yourself under the DVD drive. Go to the back corner. In the back corner, you know, we can close the screen. Stick it right in there. Pop it open. On the other hand side of the hinge, you do the same thing. Just do the corner hinge side and the front and the DVD drive. You want to grab it from this side, from the DVD drive here. Put your fingers on the screen and pull this side up and slide it gently a little bit towards this uh, USB ports. So that way you can scoop all this hook right here so you don't pull the USB connectors up. So there's your bottom cover. Right. And down here we can see the battery right in front. This is a battery model L16M2PB1. And this one, it is a, uh, how many volt? Let me see, 7.5 volt, 4,000 milliamp, 30 watt hour battery. All right, to remove this battery, first we're gonna remove one screw, two, three, four screws we're gonna remove from this battery before disconnecting. So remove the four screws. Make sure you don't drop the screws over the motherboard. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, so what you want to do, you want to grab the battery from here, bring, make sure it's loosened up. And then what you want to do, you want to pull it towards the front end of the laptop gently, and it will release these connectors. These cables are extremely hard, so don't worry about damaging these cables. These are really, really thick cables. So you just want to straight bring it backward. This is a two cell battery. Once you get the new one in, I'll leave the link in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Just grab it, make sure the red one is towards the right, the black cable is connected is towards the left, so don't put it like this. Make sure it's straight like that. 
positive is red, black is negative. Align it in front of the jack. Make sure you don't put a sideway in. Has to go in straight inside the connector. And then you just want to pinch them together all the way in. Then you want to lift it up and accommodate the battery right inside the screw holes. Make sure you're facing nicely all the screw holes. And then you want to put the four screws that you remove on the battery. If you want to remove the BIOS battery, is this one right in here, has a little adhesive underneath, just lift it up with a force and disconnect, pull the jack back and that way you can reset the configuration for the BIOS or just replace the BIOS battery. Right. Once you remove the battery, you put the new one in, all you want to do is to grab the bottom cover you want to put this side where you have the power jack, everything in, in 45 degree angle, hook it in, bring it down, and then let go of this other side, and push down hard on the corner, make sure you don't nice soft click sounds, or hard click sounds, and that's what you want. If you see any opening, you just want to pinch them together. And the last thing down here would be to just put the bottom screws. Just remember, once you have the new battery in there, you just don't want to power on the laptop right away, you want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger and leave it there charging for at least four to five hours without powering on the laptop. After four to five hours, you want to unplug the charger, power on the laptop, bring down the brightness down to 20 or 30 percent, load up some light work, YouTube or whatever. Don't put movies, just YouTube videos. If you want movie too, that's fine. Put some Excel sheet. Just bring down the charge slowly down to 30% over time. After when the charge is down to 30, 20%, you want to power off the laptop and you want to leave it charging for at least for another four to five hours. After four to five hours of charging, then what you want to do, you want to power on again and use it as you wish. Then you might want to do this process once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at a maximum performance. And that should power up today's video. And this is how you can upgrade the battery for your Lenovo IdeaPad 3030-15 AST. Now you see there's a gap opening right in here. I'm just going to pinch them together and it should pull the bottom cover to itself. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.